All right, so I know this is a little bit unrelated to uh, my channel necessarily, um, but when there's topics that come up that I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about them. So how about Joe Rogan? My guy. Uh, I'm a big Joe Rogan fan, and that's not just his podcast. That's his comedy. That's his MMA commentary. Um, and basically everything he does, I enjoy. And so I've been listening to him and watching him for a while. So I seen that Spotify, well, I guess Joe Rogan has now moved or will be moving over to Spotify on a hundred million dollar deal. The thing with that is, and a lot of people misunderstand this as almost in the same way that they view in player contracts with the sport, you're not gonna get one huge check of that hundred million dollars. But what you will be getting it is over time and uh, you know split up amounts or at least that's my understanding i know that's how it works with players um joe rogan is the best thing that spotify can do if they want to get more attention on their product so spotify i noticed is wanting to move from move from just music to more uh, a broader landscape there as far as getting viewers on the product and Joe Rogan has he's the king of podcasts okay there's a lot of really good podcasts I know if you listen to Rogan's podcast you probably listen to others um, some of my favorites I love King and the Sting, Theo Vaughn, Brandon Schaub, um, you know Bert Kreischer and Bill Burr's got their own thing going right now uh, and there's many others outside of that group or comedy if you like, you know Mystery or horror or whatever uh, Or sports, you know, there's plenty of options to choose from But the best of everything is Joe Rogan. I've learned more um, I'm graduating this year. I've learned more from his podcast than I've learned in science or history class and it's just because of the people that he has on even though he might disagree with a lot of them uh, you know according to his words he always comes out of it with a different perspective uh, and and comes away agreeing with some of what that person has to say even though they may disagree on other things so and I that's the same with me you know there's been people he's had on that I disagree with and you know you sit down and you listen and it's a you know I think the shortest is like maybe an hour and 40 minutes but the majority of his podcasts range from a two hour plus uh, range so you're getting your pro you're getting your money's worth if you're Spotify because I personally don't use Spotify I'm on like Apple music Apple podcasts because of Rogan, I'm going to be over there on Spotify when this happens. And I'm not quite sure about YouTube, if he's still going to be on YouTube or not. But the main two places that I got his podcast were Apple Podcasts and YouTube. Uh, YouTube, when I'm home and I can actually watch it. Apple Podcasts, when I'm at work. And then I just listen to it that way. But Spotify hit the jackpot by moving Rogan over to their platform not just for the views but I think when you have a certain person on your network or on your platform similar to like you know with what I talk about with sports if you look at FS1 compared to ESPN you know ESPN might have Stephen A. Smith but you look at FS1 they have uh, I would say more of the well-known names you know even though you may not agree with those well-known names I think ESPN has the most well-known but FS1 has the more well-known <clears throat> so uh, even though I would say ESPN generally is a more well-known brand by people who wouldn't know a thing about sports so I think uh, you know everybody knows about Apple and how big of a company they are when you can move somebody of this caliber over 
to your network, it's gonna bring, it's just gonna be, the dominoes are gonna start to fall um, for Spotify's way. So congratulations to Joe Rogan, man. I know, like I said earlier, you're not gonna get it all in one big, uh, one big check, but still, doing what you love, and I know this is what he loves to do, um, you know, fantastic, happy for him. I look forward to a uh, new way of consuming his content, and I think this could cause a domino effect. If Spotify is really committed to this, and it works out, which anything with Joe Rogan will work out. I mean, that's not, that's not uh, being a fanboy, that's just the proof is there. So, I think you could see this with some other people uh, who have bigger podcasts, maybe some people within his friend group. So we'll see. Uh, congratulations, Joe Rogan. Huge deal. So even though it's not necessarily related to what I talk about, um, you know, it's something that I'm interested in. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Don't know when exactly it goes into effect. Uh, I believe towards the end of the year, something like that. I don't know. But um, when it does, I'll be over on Spotify, or at least more. So, all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.